Welcome to Two Point Hospital, the fun hospital administration game where you try and cure all sorts of weird and wonderful illnesses which are pretty much humorous. Last time around I was at the hospital of Lower Bullocks where I got the third star. So now I'm moving on, he says hopefully. Oh, didn't mean to do that. To this hospital over here. Flottering. Where I learn about staff development and training. And I'll click on start. This is essentially a training hospital. Staff development. To get the most out of our staff, we'll need to train and promote them. When someone has gained enough experience on the job and has had some training, they will be ready for promotion. By promoting them, their skills increase and they are able to learn a new qualification. They might also want a pay rise. Firstly though, we'll need a training license. The Two Point Health Ministry has promised to grant us a license if we can demonstrate our commi commitment to, the, to staff well-being here in Flottering. I don't know what demonstrating our commitment actually means. Okay. To get a training license, get hospital level to four, currently level one, hire seven staff and have a staff morale of 55%. All right, well, as always with hospitals, the first thing you need is a reception area. So I will buy a reception desk and put it in place. That's sort of central. A reception needs an assistant. Yes, it does, but that can wait. Now, it's nicely laid out, well, if I expand it out, it's nicely laid out down here and down here to make easy placement of rooms for me, admittedly with a couple of doors in the middle, and I can use this area down here for things like a ward, uh, staff, restroom, I'm also going to need to put a toilet in. So, as always with hospitals, the first thing I tend to build because it's the first thing I tend to need. Our GP's offices. Now, if I spin this round, how much space have I actually got? I've only got five width. So what I may, if I build a three by three room, because it has to be a minimum of three by three, I won't have room to build a second three by three room next to it, which is less than optimal. And I don't want to stick it out any further than that, so I might as well build one big room. Like that. And I'll put a door in the middle. So that's not exactly ideal. And if I spin this around again, I have the same problem on the other side. Oh, I've got to finish this room off first. Uh, I need an office desk. Uh, I'd rather have the... Yep, that way around. Okay, I need to spin the room around again. I'd rather have the doctor facing towards the door. And I need a filing cabinet. So we'll have two of them. I'll put a bin in the corner. A yucca plant over here and that'll do for that room so that's my GP's office or my initial GP's office now the problem with that is I don't have a lot of space between the reception desk and the GP's office which is not great so I'm going to pick up the reception desk and put it over to the side like that. Yes, it wastes a lot of space, but that's life. Next thing I'm always going to need, and hopefully that is six, it is six wide. So I'm gonna have a small pharmacy with a door there and a pharmacy machine facing that way. 
put a filing cabinet in the corner. Yes, I will enhance these rooms later. And we'll give you a yucca plant as well. That gives me a pharmacy. And next to that I can put a general diagnostic because that only needs to be 3x3. Three three. Put a door there. A machine in that corner. A little couch type thing. That in that corner. Again, a filing cabinet. And we'll put a fire extinguisher in the middle. A yucca plant over here. And that's a general diagnostics room built without being too expensive. Which means I wanted to put a ward down here. Okay, I've got cardiology award. I'm thinking how big do I want to make the ward? Possibly that size. Put the door there. I hope the nurse's station can't go there. Nurse's station there. Changing thing there. Six beds. Give me another changing screen. Filing cabinet. Oh, we'll shove it down in this corner. We'll have three of them. Oh, and we'll have a locker as well. No, oh, can't fit a locker in there. All right. We'll fit a locker over here. Just because. And again. A yucca plant over here. We can fit one just there as well. Okay, that puts the ward in. Other rooms do I need? Or can I have? I'll have a cardiology, which needs to be three by three. There. So basically something with a running machine in it. Filing cabinet, we'll just put a standard plant in that corner. That'll do for cardiology. And I'll worry about other stuff shortly. The other two rooms I need, I need a toilet. I'll put that to that size. Oh, all right, we'll put it to there. I'll add the door there. Toilets down here. I also want to add a little bit. That way I can put another toilet cubicle in there. Put a sink there and there. And some hand dryers in the middle. And that will do for a nice bathroom, which gives me plenty of space over here for a staff room. And it still gives me plenty of space to expand as necessary. Um, do I want to expand it one further? Possibly. Yes. Yes, I'm going to expand that out one further, so we get the door for the moment. And now I'll put the door there. Add a sofa. Or two. And an armchair in the middle of that. Give you your own drinks machine. And your own snacks machine. OK, 
couple of lockers. And that will not do. Uh, we'll put a bin. No, I can't fit it there. We'll fit a big bin there. A couple of yucca plants. Okay. So that's the basic layout for now. But I do have expandable areas, including plot number three here, and I'm assuming a plot over here somewhere. I will buy plot number three. It'll take a little time for that to develop. But that's the currently the basic layout of the hospital. Now I need nurses, a doctor, at least a doctor, lots of nurses. And okay, doctor, you're good with general diagnosis, so in there you go. So I'm going to need lots of nurses. Go in there. You can go in there. Which reminds me, I want to click on that and tell you you should have an optional second nurse. We'll hire you. You can go in there too. Now I need least one assistant. I'll get the Ooh. best one. Ooh. And a couple of janitors. Now unfortunately the janitors Ooh. Ooh. don't have the uh, ability to deal with ghosts. Well, in that case we'll Ooh. hire all Ooh. three because I will be able to train them up Ooh. after a while. Ooh. Okay that's got me to level four hospital and I don't know what the staff morale currently is. It's currently zero. Okay, that gets me a training license. Great news. The Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a training license. This will allow us to train staff in all our hospitals. Building a training room allows you to run a training course. Staff with a free training slot we can go on a course to learn new qualification. So now... Oh. Oh. Beware, clowns. Fluttering has, has, a, has had a bit of a problem recently. Clowns. They're everywhere. Apparently they keep escaping from the travelling circus. Their hijinks can be a real nuisance. We'll need some new equipment to deal with them. The Orb Foundation have patented have a patented method for recalibrating the minds of clowns, supporting their rehabilitation back into society. They have offered to supply us with the necessary equipment if we can demonstrate our ability to mould our own staff. Sounds a bit sinister to me, but who am I to judge? Yes. So I now have a training room capability, which wasn't always the plan to put it in here but I will spin this room round so I can see it all right put that there put some training chairs maximum number of people you can train is six assuming they have chairs to sit on so that's that we'll have a filing cabinet or three bin and a yucca plant and that's a training room training to start a training course click on the lectern or drop a suitable member of staff into the room staff will request training when you're ready when they're ready in the training screen select the qualification you want staff to learn assign a trainer and select the staff you wish to send on the course when you're ready click the start button when picking a trainer, you can use your own staff, choosing one of the, their qualifications to teach, or you can pay extra to bring, bring in a guest trainer. Okay. So. Is that building? Oh, good. This building is now available. Okay, and apparently this... Let me pick up that desk and put it there. Okay, apparently I managed to trap that doctor. So, now over here, I can now put the other rooms that I'm liable to need. One of which is probably, I'm going to probably need a deluxe or a pans clinic and possibly a psychiatry. But until I get those patients with those problems, I don't want 
to create them because there are some hospitals where certain diseases just don't turn up. So what I do also need to do, I do have a clown wandering around, which is hardly wonderful. Let's put a load of benches around so people have things to sit on while they're waiting to be treated. should help. I'm also going to want down this corridor a drinks machine, a snack machine, a salty snack machine, because salty snack machines are useful for making people want to drink. I'm going to put a fire extinguisher in there. <coughs> Equally, I would like a magazine rack over there. A leaflet stand near that reception desk. I may have a second reception desk. Oh yeah, we'll put a yucca plant behind you somewhere. And we'll put one over there to make that a bit greener. Can I put one in that corner? No, I can't. Nope, can't put anything near there. I'm not going to fancy up the rooms just yet. What I will do is put another drinks machine over here and another salty snack machine near there. And now we'll st Sorry about that. Sneezing fit. Okay. We will Patients are reminded not to spread diseases. Okay, I can't stop myself sneezing currently. As I said, I'm struggling to... St I have no idea why I'm suddenly having a sneezing fit, but apparently I am. Okay, I've discovered the illness bed face. Which is cured in the ward. I've seen bed face in the previous hospital, so I'm not going to read the information about bed face but I need to train somebody don't I so on the training side the courses I have available include ghost capture now, I would have to hire a trainer to do this but I want to teach my janitors how to capture ghosts so I will tell my janitors to go on a course. Our doctor discovered a new illness, jest infection. A condition that causes hijinks and general buffoonery. Escaped clowns must have their sense of humour completely excised to prevent a future relapse. The patient is seeking treatment and will need a clown clinic in order to treat them. Complete more objectives to unlock clown clinic. What would you like to do? I will get the patient to wait for now. Because once these guys have finished their training course, then it will unlock the clown clinic, which I can then put into this area, which is why I have the space over here. Okay, we've discovered verbal diarrhea, which again, I've seen at previous hospitals, so I'm not going to read that. It gets treated in the pharmacy. Patients may not be able to take money with them. I'll hire another nurse. I'll hire another doctor. May not have a use for him right now. Oh, I might as well spend the money hiring it, hiring them now. Yes, my hospital isn't currently covering its costs because it's still waiting for enough patients to come in to allow me to generate money. And the cost of my training course is not great, which is currently 10% completed. Although if I can cure the verbal diarrhea person, that would be good. Because the money would be nice. Always useful. 
But if necessary, I will take out a loan to build the clown clinic once I have completed this training course, trained a member of staff, because it requires a nurse. Oh good, I managed to cure the person with bed face. As more people come in. Apparently I've got his countdown of 130 something before he gets really upset and goes goes home. Okay. Yes, we've discovered the disease Freudian lips. Well, I don't have a psychiatry clinic just yet. All personalised artwork should be tasteful and above board. So he can wait for the moment until such time as... Again, I want this training course to finish. So they've learnt ghost capture. And once that's finished, I will re I will build out the rest of the hospital that I want slash need. It's currently seventy percent full for you. Oh. New illness: misery guts discovered. Our doctor has discovered new illness: misery guts. Chronic grumpiness due to a nihilistic semicolon. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Yes, I'm pretty sure I've seen that one before. No. 81%. You're at 97. Oh, good. But yes. Good. Now my tra clown clinic. Try that again. Now my clown clinic is unlocked. I can build my clown clinic over here. However, to build everything I'm going to want, I'm going to need a loan. So I will take the loan out and I will now build one clown clinic there, the door there, and clown clinic like that. Fire extinguisher, always useful. There's a bin. Not going to do any more than that. Okay, that's just a decorative item. As a circus lights, apparently. Well, I can unlock those, so... What the heck, we'll have some circus lights in the clown clinic. And... A clown cannon. Just to be decorative. I'll put a gold, gold star wall on the wall just to make it to le prestige level 3. So that's the clown clinic. I also need a psychiatrist's office. I make it small enough. I'll put, put the chair there. The couch there. A couple of filing cabinets in this corner. I'll put a plant over in that corner. I'll put a plant over in that room as well. That's a psychiatrist. So that's all the rooms I currently need. You haven't finished your ghost training yet. You're almost finished with your ghost training. Okay, it counts as one of the th three staff to be trained. So now... That requires a nurse, that requires a psychiatrist. I did, however, forget that it's always good to have a place for people to sit and wait. Training course complete. I've got the money and the hospital is still in progress. Can do, hopefully. Is. 
a reasonably small toilet over here. Sink. That's the clown being declowned. Yeah, we can't put that in there. I will at some point watch a clown be declowned just for the sheer heck of it. That got one clown declowned. That's a nice comment. Not harbour secret ambitions. Right. Oh, okay. It looks like I've got a pan on the head guy. Which means I need one of those de-panning rooms. Pan's lab. Which I will stick. Actually, I'll stick it over here. Has to be four by four. Okay. Put a fire extinguisher in the room. A bin and a yucca plant. Okay, because I know I'm going to need that. So I prepared in advance for the fact I'm going to need that. I haven't seen anybody with anything required to be pulled off their head yet. So yes, the magnet guy requires that to come off their head, but the light bulb or crab over someone's head that requires the Deluxo Clinic, I think it is. What's it called? The yeah, the Deluxe Clinic. Pharmacy emergency. As good as that is. Oh, what the heck. For pharmacy. Normally I'd say no to that. What I can do is hire you and shove you in the pharmacy. Alright. You're not going to go work in cardiology. You're going to stay in the pharmacy. Because I want you there. You have pharmacy skills, so you're going to stay in the farm pharmacy for now. Because there wasn't a queue for the pharmacy, so I figured the I might be able to deal with the emergency patients. Question is, was I actually correct? That we will find out in the next episode. Because it's going to take a little while. But that is the hospital as it currently stands. It has a training room, a staff room, a ward, a couple of toilets... And all the rooms I currently need. And hopefully one of my janitors will clear up the fact that man has just been sick with his verbal diarrhoea. Okay, so. As always, I hope you enjoyed the start of setup of flotting. Flottering? I think that's the name of this hospital. And hopefully I will see you down the road for more adventures in Two Point Hospital. Cheerio!